Hi, welcome to another Power Blast podcast. So where does fat go when you lose weight? Let's talk about it. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, Perry Tinsley here, creator of the Power Blast podcast, the power of possibility, passion, and purpose. And let's talk about where does fat go when you lose weight? It was uh, an article that I I kind of came across um, maybe earlier today, and I thought, man, that's an interesting topic. I'm sure I learned this in school, but I've got to dig more. And I was kind of surprised because if if you're like me, you're probably thinking, well, you probably a lot of fat leaves uh, when you when you sweat or when you when you use the the bathroom, and that's probably where a lot of it goes. Um, but I was pretty surprised that um, you know while you're burning more energy and you're taking in that that weight loss, and when fat is burning, most of it is exhaled as carbon dioxide into thin air. And so it's like, wow, I, I, how did I not remember that or not know that? Um, so I, I don't know if this, this resonates with you, if this, you know, kind of excites you. And I was like, oh my gosh, I can, I can breathe. I can just exhale the fat, right? Um, but what I've heard in, on the research is about um, 84%, um, you know, like, like 8.4 out of every 10 pounds of fat is actually exhaled as carbon dioxide. And then the remaining, you know, 16%, it leaves the body through urine, sweat, tears, breath, um, other body fluids, stuff like that. So um, so here's the big question. Can you just eat less and exhale more and just by breathing lose weight? And unfortunately, it doesn't quite work that way. You know, you're thinking, gosh, if fat turns into carbon dioxide, I could just simply breathe it out, right? Um, but um, that would be hyperventilation. It would <laughs> probably only make you dizzy and pro- probably make you faint. Anyway, the, the way you, you've got to do this, you've got to obviously consciously increase the energy uh, inside your body by moving your muscles and uh, th- that increasing the amount of carbon dioxide to you know convert it to that and then expel it. I'm sure there's a lot better science explanation to it. I'm not a scientist or a nutrition expert by any means, and so you can you can Google that as well. But you know, on the flip side, is like where does weight go? When, you know, where does fat go when you gain weight? And you probably already know. I mean, in younger women, it, it's going to go onto the hips, the thighs, the buttocks, that sort of thing. Um, older women, postmenopause uh, sort of uh, uh, time is going to accumulate probably around more the abdomen area. And men, you know, we have the beer belly, the belly region that's that, that's going to store the fat the most. So, of course... Um, there is the thing, you know, if you're, if you're getting on the scale, a lot of times there, you know, people, if you're doing like strength training um, and you're gaining weight, it's probably muscle. And here's a little misconception out there, um, you know, popular belief that saying, hey, muscle weighs more than fat. And that's not true. A pound is a pound. Uh, so the thing is muscle is actually more dense than fat so it appears to weigh more by volume cuz you know smaller smaller you know amount of muscle and it's weighing the, the same amount as this big bulky amount of fat but actually if you're getting stronger you're getting smaller in size and you're seeing the scale go up it's likely due to just lean muscle mass that you're building. So uh, here's three tips for you that you, know, you can take away from this. I know it's a very short podcast and and um, uh, just, wanted, just wanted to just share that the little tip. But here, here's three tips to losing body fat that at least I've learned over the years. And I say, heck, you know, I, I believe it works. You know, the research is out there is to cut back on added sugar and sweet, you know, sweetened beverages. Um, sugar just seems to be like the big evil, especially when it's kind of that sneaky sugar that's in, uh, beverages and a lot of the products we buy in stores, uh, like high fructose, uh, corn syrup or the, the, um, even fructose that's just 
put into to sweeten things, I think the body responds to that and just holds on and creates a lot of fat to hold on to. So we are a, a, a population that's addicted to sugar and uh, we, the body will just crave it and crave it. So there, there's a lot of different um, eating plans out there. I think kind of sugar detox sort of things that you can Google out there and, and give a try. Watch out for some of the extreme stuff. I think there's some some easy, natural ways to do that. As a matter of fact, uh, I did one a few years back, and it, it was amazing. You know, it, I felt good. You feel more alert. Um, and uh, the, the recipes were fantastic. It just didn't have a lot of sugar in it. And once the sugar is gone, your body's not like not craving it as well and or as much. Um, th- there's a couple other tips that I've done. I'll put some uh, links in the show notes to ideas that you can do to, um, to, to cut back sugar or at least wean yourself off of sugar. But that's one tip. Um, so uh, the, the other thing is, is um, just water, water, water. Um, you can, you know, if you're not a big fan of water, I know sometimes people are like, water's gross. Um, you can flavor it up with, uh, you know, fruits and herbs and things like that. But water is going to flush things f- from the body as well um, to help you stay strong and healthy. I tell people a lot that, you know, it's kind of an overlooked, simple solution for people to lose weight. And I think because it's so simple, people overlook it. And people are like, oh, yeah, I should. I mean, it's easier than doing exercise, (laughs) just pounding down a bunch of water throughout the day, not just getting one little water bottle and just sipping throughout the day. That's part of it. But I think even drinking 16 to 20 ounces, just slamming that stuff down before you have a meal or a snack or something throughout the day, striving for more than half your body weight in ounces is going to be a big thing. Uh, Another one is to pay attention to portion sizes. We go to restaurants, we've got our plates are mammoth size. If you get smaller plates, watch portion sizes. Uh, You've probably seen me talk about those portion container system that we have. I'll I'll post a link to that in the the show notes. Um, That... You know, it takes the guesswork out of, of out of meal t- meal time, and you, you can uh, combine the correct amount of macronutrients to your flavorful meals, and you're staying within what your your body actually needs, and then your body will start burning that fat and getting getting away from that. So, just make sure you're you're eating foods from all the food groups. I know a lot of times, you know, trendy things are to cut out certain food groups and. Um, you know, I don't know if the body was always happy to do that, but I know some people have gotten really great results from, from doing, uh, programs like that. So, uh, you know, try things out. The last thing you probably knew I was going to say is to exercise regularly. High intensity interval training seems to be a really effective way that combined with strength training, those kind of top the list for effective, effective forms of exercise for fat loss. And, you know, there's, there's a lot of great programs out there even hitting the gym for that, for that sort of thing. Um, you know, just about any exercise is going to help you, uh, lose weight and, you know, and lose the fat. But if you're wanting to make the most, you know, effective use of your time, seek out some, uh, uh, hit high in, high intensity interval training uh some strength training uh once again I'll, I'll post a link to some things that i've tried in the show notes and you know you can research them see if see if they work for you the key the key really w- is to do it regularly combine it with that balanced healthy diet watching your portion control cutting out the sugar and um while those are very simple things putting them into practice and avoiding temptations and, and your life situation all needs to be taken into consideration and, and, and you're going to have to change some things to make it happen, but it's totally doable. You know, you've seen, seen things out there. So that's where fat goes, right? <laughs> We're breathing it out, but we've got to work at it a little bit to be able to exhale that fat. And, uh, you know, I, when, when I ask people, you know, it's like, where does fat go when you, when you lose weight? Very simple thing would be anywhere. I don't care where it goes, just as long as it's leaving me. So anyway, that's all I have for this week. I I so appreciate you for coming on. Don't forget to check out the show notes for some suggestions. 
if your goal is to get rid of more fat, maybe lose some weight, uh, feel a little bit a bit better and a little bit healthier. If you found this valuable, then please pass it on to somebody you know. Uh, you can share it uh, through through social media or you know even an email or just uh, powerblastpodcast.tv or powerblastpodcast.net. There is an audio and a video version of this show. Uh, both can be found in iTunes. And if you get over to iTunes and can give an honest rating and review, that would absolutely rock, my friend. That's all I have for this week. And as always, remember, it's never too late. We'll see you next week.